enemy sentry. So you're the one they call the Fox. Your reputation precedes you. Now you must be Angel. Should I be flattered or concerned? Depend how you handle a little favor for me. I need you to track down a friend of mine, Sonia Mayfield. Amateur boxing champ. Now runs a local gym. She went missing a few days ago. So long as your favor doesn't mean free. Any idea what could have happened to her? Does she have any enemies? I'd like to know. Sonia was a pillar in this community. She ran free classes for the local kids so she could keep them off the streets. I'll look into it. I'm locked out. Looks like someone closed the place up. There's a CTOS camera nearby. Maybe it picked up something. Understood. Let's make things interesting. Unsighted, unsighted sweeping area. Angel, I got stills from the CTOS camera. Looks like Sonia met with Clan Kelly before she went AWOL. Sending to you now. Clan Kelly? Oh shit. I recognize this asshole. They hit up a Kelly clubhouse that runs underground fights. So it wasn't a random visit. Clan Kelly targeted her for her boxing history. But for what? I'm sending you the address now. Hurry. All right, I'm here. What's your plan to get in? Are you gonna start shooting? Yeah, that sounds judgmental coming from you. Sonia's probably in there, and I don't want her to wind up as collateral damage. And I want to know what's going on. 
you won't get information by killing everyone inside. Yeah, I heard you. I think I've got an idea for how to blend in. Oi, oi. You know this ain't some dance party, right? What? There's no guest DJ here tonight. You can't grab a drink and grind against a stranger. We're fighting here. Bare knuckle boxing. No shit. All right, what's your tone? Just making sure you weren't looking to go on the pool and then instead get your fucking face kicked in. You're welcome. Done for. No thanks to you. Are you Sonia Mayfield? Angel sent me to find you. Really? Did he tell you to completely fuck me over too? What are you talking about? The match. The only reason I signed up for this tourney was because the prize money would have kept my gym doors open. Now I'm gonna lose it. The bank will take everything. This was about the prize money. Take it, then. Angel thought something bad had happened to you. Turns out you were just fighting for Clan Kelly. It's not that simple. They wanted a champion for their league, so while they may not have literally put a gun to my head, they made yes my only real option. And I'm the lucky one. They've dragged other people here to fight and cage them up after. Folks that owe them are across them. Clan Kelly are holding people hostage and forcing them to fight. I can't let that go on. Okay, I hope you make them pay. And thanks. That gym means everything to me. You can't leave these people here, Pierce. People shouldn't be chained up to fight like dogs. Shit. Dogs shouldn't be chained up either. Don't worry. I wasn't planning on it.
found the other boxers. Clan Kelly's literally holding them in cages. Get them out of there, Pierce. Looking for me? You must be Claire. Connie said you could use some help with a story. What are you, a journalist? Journalist, podcaster, take your pick. I've got a nose for bullshit. Speaking of, I'm looking into a deal between Rempart and Karkani. Tell me you're operating off of more than just your nose on this. I operate on facts. And fact is, this deal involves something Rempart calls their premium protection plan. They don't publicly list this service, so I want to know what it is. All right. Got any ideas on where to start? Of course. One of Rempart's reps will be visiting Karkani today to finalize the deal. All you have to do is download their files. Fine. I'm on it. I'm here. Anything I should know about this one? Karkani's in a pissing match with the NHS over a city contract, so security's tighter than usual. Shouldn't be a problem for the great Aiden Pierce, though. So you do know who I am? Of course I do. Big fan of the way you exposed the Chicago mayor, by the way. You could say it was, uh, inspirational. It made standing up to corruption seem, I don't know, possible. Inspirational, huh? You need a better role model. <laughs> Heard that one before. Why don't you just focus on finding that rep? We can worry about role models later.
Great. Get hacking. I want those so files. So, Claire, why are Carcani and the NHS at odds? They're fighting for control over the EPC. The NHS plans to have better and cheaper care, while Carcani plans to make money off of deportees. Don't watch the news much, do you, Piers? Keeping up on healthcare politics isn't at the top of my to-do list. Looks like this premium plan offers targeted hits on client competitors. Dr. Leila Ibrahim is listed as the primary target. Any chance you know who she is? Sounds familiar. Let me look her up. For now, get out of there before someone catches you snooping around. Turns out that Dr. Ibrahim has been all over the news you don't watch. She leads the NHS response team that's taking on Karkani for the city contract. Which means Karkani hired Rempart to take out the competition. You're going to warn them, aren't you? There's a meeting about the contract today. I bet you could catch them there. Send me the location. I'll see what I can do. Here. No sign of the response team, though. According to the news, the meeting hasn't started yet. Have a look around. See if you can find them. Damn. I think I found them. I'm too late, Claire. Rempart's people were already here. Dr. Ibrahim is dead. Shit. What about the rest of the team? Not sure. Have a look around. So back off! I'm Dr. Ibrahim. My team and I have been approached by Clan Kel- Wait! Hey! Let go of me! Help! Cha, leave on a man. She won't make it. Get the rest loaded up and take them back to the market. Sneaky bastards. Rempart hired the Kellys to do their dirty work. We have to help those hostages. We can't just leave them. I wasn't planning on it. Any idea where this market might... Only one place it could be. Leather Lane. The Kellys always hang out around there, doing and selling God knows what. All right, drop me a pin for their location, and I'll check it out.
I'm not too late. All right, let's go. Found the hostages. How do they look? Alive, for now. Better do this quick. I'm not too late. Let's shut things down. Found the hostages. How do they look? Alive. For now. Better do this quick. You'll have to run for it. Don't look back. Keep your head down and run. Done. They say you should never meet your heroes, but you really came through on this one. I'll make sure Connie knows. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a story to write, companies to tank. You know, for a journalist, you're not so bad. Do me a favor and keep me in the loop. It's always good to have one ear to the ground. Yeah, sure. I mean, for a crotchety old man, not so bad either. See you around, Pierce. So, it's been all over the news, and I'm sure we're all sick of hearing about it. But in case you haven't heard, Karkani's officially the primary medical provider for the EPC. Score one for private health care. Not that there's anything healthy or caring about their plan to make money off refugees. So how did this happen? And what does this mean for the future of the NHS?
Let me lend a hand. Bloody Neanderthal! Hey, Pierce! Just the person I was hoping to see. I'm working on another story. Interested? Who are you after this time? Rempart. He has a long history of buying up smaller companies for their tech, and just pulled the same stunt right here in London. As of this morning, Eastron belongs to him. Not surprising, what's the twist? Normally he only goes after weapons manufacturers. It seems he has a thing for deadly tech, but Eastron makes electric double-deckers. Which begs the question... Why is Rempart so interested in them? Bingo. Think you can sneak your way into Eastrom to get some photos? I want to see what they're really up to. Fine, I'm on it. Here. Well, go on, get in there. And don't forget to take photos. We need evidence of what they're up to. Take the power back. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Hang on. You sure about this lead, Claire? Eastrom markets themselves as eco-conscious hippies. Does Rempart seem like the do-gooder type to you? Keep looking. Seems like the only thing they make here are buses. Is there something special about them, aside from being electric? Apparently, eco buses are developed with efficiency in mind, using magnesium A to create the next generation of blah, blah, blah. I'll do some more digging on my end. Keep me posted. I'll see what else I can find. Let's make things interesting. Get going.
be related to a Jackson Pierce, would you? Apparently it was his research that was used to develop that fancy material they use for the buses. Fuck, that can't be a coincidence. All right, Claire, say Rempart was looking for him. How would buying this company help do that? If Rempart is after this Jackson guy, then buying Eastron would give him access to their metadata. Companies keep records on every unit sold and deal made. Like the deal the university made with them to use Jack's research. I have to erase that data. Okay, but wait. No time. files aren't here. That's what I was trying to tell you. They won't mine all that data there. Luckily, you have me, and I know where Rempart keeps their servers. Sending you the address now. Okay, off the record, who is Jax, and why is Rempart after him? He's obviously family. If I know what's going on, then maybe I can help in some way? So you know everything we discuss is off the record. And I don't need your help. It's a private matter. I'll handle it on my own. Okay, tough guy. So your privacy is more important than your family's safety, is it? I'm gonna hang up now. Fine. I'll drop it. I need to move faster. Don't blow out your hip. I know you're worried about Jackson, but I seriously doubt Rempart's had enough time to go through everything. I'm not willing to bet his life on it. Once you've hacked the server, patch me in and I'll help erase the data. We'll make sure Rempart can't get to him. There it is.
catching you and Claire. Shit, I think I just set off an internal alarm. Yes, you did, and here comes security right on cue. You're gonna have to fight. Fine by me. Okay, but don't go too far or I'll lose my connection. How much data's on that thing? More than either of us would be comfortable with. Just hang in there. Almost done. Done. Server's wiped. Get out of there, Pierce. Well done. Jackson safe. I have my story, everyone's happy. Find your story, but keep Jax out of it. I won't mention him. Not too keen on tracking him down just to vet him. Besides, the real story lies with Rempart. If I'm lucky, we'll see a dip in his stocks once everything's out. I know you get a kick out of exposing these guys, but it is dangerous. You just saw firsthand what they're willing to do to get to someone. You should get some protection. Like what? Carry a gun? Hire a bodyguard? Don't be ridiculous. I'm a journalist. If I'm not pissing someone off, then I'm not doing my job. Just saying. I'll see you later, Claire. Our right to be forgotten is no more. Bloom saw to that when they petitioned to roll back the GDPR. Oh, sorry, the UK GDPR. Opening the door for companies big and small to track our every move, swipe and like. The very same companies trade and sell our data. But to who? And what happens to all that information when companies are bought by someone like Rempart? Stay with me, London, and I'll show you. Oh, no trouble, eh? Too fucking bad. This is Clan Kelly turf, so just being here means you're in for trouble, so fuck off. Hey, Aiden. I have a question. Go ahead. That weekend you took us all out to the country. When I was a kid. And on the way we got run off the road. I don't want to talk about this. About what? About the crash or about my sister? Look. Did you know those guys were after you? And that's why you took us? I'm not angry, I just want to know. You never said. Yeah. It was a mistake. I ran when I should have fought. I didn't commit to what I had to do. The man I had to be. I never made that mistake again. What about the mistake that got us there in the first place? Robbing whoever it was you robbed? I don't know, Jackson. Same answer. You ever wish you'd committed to being that other guy? All the time.
I figured Wrench wouldn't got be the type to steer clear of the authorities for very long, so I went poking around in Albion's body cam archives. And look what I found. Look behind him. That's Brixton. And I don't see that drone he rides around on anywhere, which probably means he's close to home. Good eye. But not enough to go on yet. Even if you're right, he's too careful. And if we spend too long looking around, he'll notice and run. We have to narrow it down. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, I've got just the thing for that. I'm dropping you a pen. Start moving. Where am I going? Here. Watch this. Reports are coming in that a masked terrorist has set off a blast at a Rempart Automated Defense Systems facility here in the capital. Terrorism experts have identified the man pictured here as an American DedSec operative known as the Wrench. London's own DedSec cell was dismantled from their cowardly attack on the city less than a month ago. So now we must ask, has the Wrench come to London to finish what they started? He might have left something behind at the Rempart facility. Exactly. See what you can turn up. Hey, Jackson. If you had any more questions about anything that happened before, if that would help you, you can ask them. I do. Too many for right now, though. But would that help you? I think it might help both of us. Okay, well, let's try one out. Oh, God. Well, I've had a hard time remembering what things were like before it happened. Can't even remember what I was like. I was pretty young, but... Well, Mom always used to call me Aiden by accident. I guess we were a lot alike as kids. So maybe you were a bit like me when you were my age, too. Hmm. Guess I wasn't so bad then. Don't give yourself too much credit. I'm still better looking. Okay, so I have an Albion contact, Miles. He managed to get his hands on some documents for me and is willing to trade for a favor. I already set up a meeting for you two. Slow down. Favor? I didn't even say yes. You just did. Come on, Piers, I need you on this one. This story could reveal the truth behind the London bombings. Miles just needs help working a case. Fine. You must be Claire Waters' associate. I'm Miles. Or Sergeant Fletcher, if you like. Don't let the uniform fool you. I'm really an okay guy. And you are? Waiting for you to tell me what you want. Right. I need help tracking down a woman. Cora Taylor. I can't prove it yet, but she's connected to the London bombings. Keep talking. She caught me tailing her and gave me the slip. But I know where she likes to hang out. Fine. Say I find her, then what? Then you download her schedule so I can continue my investigation. Simple. Got it. I'll contact you once I've found her. She must be around here somewhere. Not her. Found her. Well done. Now download her schedule so I don't lose track of her again.
shit. Can't let her get too far, or I'll lose the signal. Are you sure you have the right person? Based on this, I'd say she lives a pretty ordinary life. Evil is banal, my American friend. I'll contact you once I finish my shift. We can meet to swap information. Something is not right about him. Think I'll do my own investigation. Bagley, pull up Miles Fletcher's address. I found a match. Setting destination. Claire, what else do you know about Miles? He's worked for Albion for a few years, stationed over on Downing Street. I can't tell you what size shoe he wears, but he's always had good intel. That's it? You're putting a lot of trust in a guy you hardly know. For what? A store? <sighs> you don't get it. The bombings were an attack on my city, my home. And I won't rest until I know who was really behind them, because we both know it wasn't dead sec. I hope you know what you're getting into. hasn't finished his shift yet, his place should be empty. Let's have a look around. Let's get to work. doing seeing who miles really is and here i was thinking i was the nosy one miles has a file on you and he sent it to his superiors this is what i'm talking about claire so albion considers me a threat i'm not sure if i should be flattered or concerned probably the latter claire are you seeing this miles isn't working a case he's stalking this woman You've got to be shitting me. Ugh! See what else you can find. I want to make his life miserable. Hey, Cora. I just wanted to let you know I had a great time last night. Maybe we can go to that Italian place that just opened on your street. Cora? Are you ignoring me? Please don't do that. I can see when you listen to my messages. Are you ignoring me? Are you? How's your show? It looks like you're enjoying it. Mr. Pierce, is that you snooping around my apartment? Can't say I'm impressed. Didn't you think to check for security? How do you know who I am? You've left quite a mess around town the last few days. Oh, and hello, Ms. Waters. Miles, you sleazy bastard. If you think you're getting away with this, you're dead wrong. I'm gonna let everyone know who you really are. I don't think you'll get the chance. In fact, Ms. Waters, 
I'll be seeing you very soon. Claire, he's coming for you. This isn't a joke. I need you to get somewhere safe while I deal with Miles. Okay, I will. But what do you mean, deal with him? What are you gonna do? Take on a whole Albion patrol by yourself? It shouldn't be a problem. I'll contact you when it's safe. No, you won't. You're too old. All washed up and you don't even know it. It's almost sad, really. Everything's fine. Still make this work. Must be the documents Claire was after. won't be bothering anyone anymore. I'll send you the documents now. Hope it was worth it. Pierce, I thought about what you said. You're right. I do need to be more careful, especially if I want to live to see this story through. You have a bad habit of getting in too deep with no way out. You do good work, Claire. Thanks, Pierce. That means a lot. It's been a genuine pleasure working with you. Likewise. Keep your head down. Good luck with the story. Okay, but... 
This is where we are now. All over the city, Albion's taken stop and search to a whole new level. They stop us without cause and take what they please, whether it's our wallets or our lives. But Albion's abuse of power goes far beyond corrupt troops. How far, you ask? Well, I'll show you on my next episode when I discuss the London bombings and break down what really happened that day.